Hi everybody, Belinda here. I thought I would show you what these um, previous videos of mine look like. So I really like this garden theme. And it looks so, so nice hanging on the wall. You can see that in the with the background on the wall. Quite effective. And it dried really well. And then over to this one, which is the minimalistic one. I think that also looks very nice hanging. Let's see if I can get enough light. Uh, probably a bit better. I'll see you in the next video. Good morning everybody. Welcome back. Belinda here. Um, right, so today I'm going to try blowing it out with a hairdryer again. So I've gone ahead and put down some paint covered my canvas and then on it I'm going to add a bit more paint get rid of that Let's just see how this goes. I have a plan of my outcome and how I would like it to come out. Um, but sometimes <laughs> your paints have a different idea. I have a bit of yellow. This is lemon yellow. And the canvas I'm using is a 12 by 16 inch. So I went out and I bought a, a hairdryer that has a cooling um, setting. And on the way, while I was on my way to find the hair dryers in the store, I came across something else. Which I wasn't actually looking for, but you know how things pop out if you're anything like me. You see things and you'll be like, oh, if I use this like this, then maybe I'll get that. And that's exactly what happened. So I will be doing a video shortly <laughs> on with that as well. So strange. Always using things that shouldn't be used for your art or you wouldn't think otherwise to use it. Right, so this is my um, bloom recipe. Why don't I put it all the way to the end over there and there? Let's see what happens. Okay, guys, this is going to get a little loud.
so of course I've got the hair dryer in the paint it's not unusual right okay I'm gonna give it a little blow doesn't work out then um, <laughs> then we just I just have to do it again but it looks like it might be sort of maybe you guys can already see resembling something at least okay I'm just waiting for that area there maybe we can just tilt it a bit in the meantime So there are a couple of areas that are still stuck. I can really see all the lacing that is happening. I do want to put down a little bit more um, paint, resetting. Put down a bit more of this white, just the, the base coat. This that is not moving. So that little bit there is still not closed. Don't know why.
And that part there is not moving. So I'm just bringing it back down. Maybe you can then, um, you guys are still in the frame. I actually didn't want to go over the edge too much, this side, but unfortunately I can't seem to help it at the moment. Alright, now it's moving the way I wanted it to. Just bringing it back, just a bit. very much but I feel that um, you still a bit too much white in the center there so what I'm gonna do be with me guys I'm just gonna add a little bit of this blue just a touch and I'll put a little bit more of this white on Seems like I don't really need any more white, there is so much there. Much better. Now I'll give that a bit of a tilt. I'm just coming back the same way
So I love the way this, this has turned out. Um, to me, it, it looks like a butterfly. I don't know, guys, comment below. What do you think? I think it turned out really well. I love all of the lacing. And, um, yeah, I love the colours as well. I think it came out pretty awesome. Okay, guys, that was my first try with the hairdryer. <laughs> And um, I think I might do some more like this. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.